Anyway, Drew came out for a promo. Somebody's getting a Big 12 title. Bro, I got 10 minutes to talk about this Raw show. Let's go. It shouldn't take long because it was just mostly great matches. We had Drew coming out for a promo, and then Sammy's music hit. And Sammy pointed out that, you know what? We both got screwed by the bloodline. We both lost our big chance. But you know what? I, I use that as motivation. I went on to main event WrestleMania. I went on to redeem myself in front of my family. What would your family think about what you're doing right now? So, of course, Drew's furious, demands a ref. We have Drew versus Sammy. They went through two commercial breaks. Excellent match. Sammy's awesome. This Drew character's the best thing on the show right now. And finally, uh, Sammy. You know, Drew's been doing the deal where, you know, he's he's clearly a heel, but, you know, he claims that, you know, he's right about everything, which he is. I understand. But, uh, you know, he's actually a bad guy. So Sammy tweaks his knee, and the ref goes to check on Sammy, and this despicable Drew chop blocks him from behind, hits the Claymore, pins him. And then they do another segment where they get in a brawl backstage, and Drew ends up stomping his knee out of his knee, and so I think Sammy might be out of action for a little while. Did a big-time injury angle. But an excellent opening match. We had a uh, bunch of segments with Jay Uso, who was getting a world title match later. He was all excited. Tonight was his big night. And he kept saying it over and over. Tonight is my big night. And I thought for sure Drew's screwing him out of his big night. But actually, he didn't. Somebody killed him afterwards. Anyway... We had Becky Lynch and Nia having a face-to-face. And then they did Nia Jax versus Shayna. And uh, you know how every Nia match has to have some spot where it looks like she's on her first day of wrestling school? Well, the one here is, bro, they're they're doing some spot. And Nia is, uh, I think she whipped her in or something like that. And she's going to go for a clothesline or whatever. Okay, for those of you that have never wrestled, when you're going for a spot and you're going to try, you know, the guy's going to duck a lariat or whatever, you need to get out of the way so the person can just run the ropes, okay? Naya, and this is, I swear to God, first day of wrestling school. Naya whips her in and stands right in the center of the ring. And so Shane has to run at her and then run around her to keep running to hit the ropes on the other side. I'm dying, dude. Is this like a rib on me? Like, she can't possibly have, on purpose, stood right in the middle of the ring and made Shayna run around her. It's like every week they got to do something to make people angry. It's like some heat thing or something. So Nia squished her and pinned her. At least this time she did the Yokozuna splash and just sat on her. Instead of last week where she sat on her and then stood up and then covered her. And then they had a face-to-face with Becky and Nia. I can't tell you... How long I've been waiting to see that match. Five years I've been waiting to see them do that match again. I've just been counting the days from five years ago when I could see Nia and Becky have another match again. Gah! The Western Kentucky Hilltopper. That's what it's like wrestling Nia Jax. Then we had DIY and Imperium. Best of three falls match. And uh, very good match. I will say they may as well have just done a singles match, like or a, a, a one fall match. You know, the the best of three falls was basically the pattern of a normal match, just broken down into three falls. And then they tried to repeat the first fall and the third fall, but of course Johnny kicked out of that. And finally, they isolate Kaiser. They hit the meat in the middle. They pin him. And afterwards, Vinci tells Kaiser, "This one's on you, brother. You got to explain yourself to Gunther." So they're in, they're in trouble. Then we had a, uh, and by the way, there was a there was a segment later where uh, Gunther meets with Adam Pierce and he just says, "We need to talk about my next challenger." And there's no follow up or anything. I think his next challenger is Kaiser. I think he's gonna give Kaiser a beating and then give Vinci a beating. That's gonna be their punishment. They gotta get killed by Gunther. Then we had uh, the Creeds and the New Day doing a, doing a goofy deal. And then we had a goofy deal with Truth. And then we had uh, Tegan and Natty versus Caden and Katana. So, uh, you know, this women's tag scene, it just sucks. Mm. It's just like, I mean, God, it's just the worst. It's so bad that I totally forgot that Piper and Chelsea beat Tegan and Natty like a week ago. 
So somehow, Tegan and Natty are in another number one contenders match, and it's with Caden and Katana. And I'm watching this entire match expecting Tegan and Natty to win to get their championship match, having forgotten they already got it. And then Caden and Katana win. And, like, I was baffled by the finish. But to be honest, Caden and Katana looked really good in this match, and it's <laughs> a new match. What's so funny? Oh, come on. Well, what? They looked really good. I thought they looked good in this match. Oh, come on, man. They should be oh. back in NXT. They got called what? up, and it's like... They were not the problem with this match, if you had a problem with this match. Do you watch NXT? They should go back Did to developmental. This match? Yes. Look, I'm sorry. They're not you I they to me, if this is the best that they're gonna be, there are a lot of other people I'd like to see get the shot. And speaking of people that were going to get the shot, what happened to Alba Fire and Alba and They're Isla on the Dawn? other show. But they had their little skit where they were going to come back and go after the tag titles, and that completely disappeared. They would be a better case than go because at least Kaylee Ray's there, so they would be a better example than Caden Carter and and what's her face. I mean, they're, I'm sorry, they're not very good. I thought that they were uh, the highlight of this match, in fact. And then we, I'm not the only one. You can go in the I chat guess. if you want. No, and that's then, all right. <laughs> I didn't say the YouTube chat. And then Cody came out and explained the uh, and Nakamura explained to him that the reason that he is stalking Cody is in fact they have followed almost the exact same path. They both won the Royal Rumble. They both got their shot at WrestleMania. It was a match that people expected both of them to win. And I did. I thought for sure Nakamura was beating AJ, and they both lost. And so now Nakamura wants to finish his story by finishing. Cody's a thirsty bunch in there. The same people think sky blue matches are all wonderful. Oh, will you stop? Then we had Creed's versus Dom and JD McDonough. And uh, they had a great showcase moment for Julius Creed where he did the overhead belly to belly kip up, overhead belly to belly kip up, overhead belly to belly kip up. And uh, finally, they uh, hit the Brutus ball, got the pin. And so Dom and JD put him over in the ring. And then later, Pierce meets with him. And uh, JD's going to make an excuse, but Dom goes, no. Nope. They're the real deal, and you guys better watch out. So they're going hard with these creeds. Good. I don't think they're winning the titles in their first championship match, but uh, they will Make sooner threats. rather than later. Good. Uh, by the way, CM Punk is on the show next week, and he will choose Raw or SmackDown, just like Randy Orton did when he chose SmackDown. So that's kind of a spoiler. And then uh, the main event was Seth Rollins' Jey Uso for the world title. And again, they went through th two commercial breaks. The last, probably, I think this went like 20 minutes or something like that. Last 10 minutes, excellent match. Holy shit chance. Oh, holy stuff chance. Dom, that's on the people. That's on the fans. Jay ended up, uh, you know, hitting a splash twice. And we got to go to a break. We got to put who am I kidding? right now. Bye. You know, Mike... Mm. This is half your fault. Oh, yeah, was it? Because you just kept talking at the beginning of this segment, and so I had to rush through that Raw uh -huh. report, so I wasn't on my game. Don't pass the buck, And on. then Jim Valley is right. It's 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 because of the fans. So it's fans. The fans' fault. It is a fans' fault. Yeah, like not, you know, taking care of their DVRs, I guess. You know what I was doing? I was being a reporter. Mm. I was reporting the wrestling news. I was reporting that the fans chanted, and Jay went for another spear, and then uh, got caught in mid-move with a pedigree, and then hit the stomp and pinned him. Wait a second. What was that word you said again there? The fans said, you idiot. Are you deaf? Hey, guys. Did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.